Y'all get ready? Yes, you get ready. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your teacups ready because this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey, you guys. I hope you guys are doing good today. Anyways, make sure you guys go on to lovelytea.net for all your tea sipping needs or amazon.com forward slash shops forward slash lovely tea. And please don't forget, we still have some holiday tea boxes left. Thank you guys so much to everybody who's caught one. They are selling like hotcakes. I truly appreciate it. We still have some left. So if you're interested, make sure you guys go on to lovelytea.net. Thank you guys so much for the support and stay tuned for the videos. All right, y'all. So I had to come out here and talk about this video. It's going viral all over social media. I posted this on my Instagram as well. It initially came from Sean King. And we see a black child. He's a wrestler. And basically, you have this referee telling him that his hair cap is not good enough. It's not covering his dreads enough. And he would need to cut his hair right there and then. So this video went viral. A lot of people are screaming racism. A lot of folks are really upset, as am I. But let me go ahead and kind of break down the backstory, okay? The reason why this video first went viral was because of a sports newscaster in New Jersey where this took place. His name is Michael Frankel, okay? I'm gonna read to you guys the caption that he wrote on Twitter that caused this to go viral. Go ahead and check this out. So Mike Fernell says, epitome of a team player. A referee would not allow Andrew Johnson of Bueno BRH Chiefs to wrestle with a cover over his dreadlocks. It was either an impromptu haircut or forfeit. Johnson chose the haircut then won by a sudden victory in overtime to help spark the Buenos to win. So that's what he wrote on his social media page. It went viral, but many of us looking at this situation, I didn't see him being the epitome of a damn team player. I saw what was a racist referee, you know what I'm saying, making this young black man cut off his dreadlocks. I can see if his dreadlocks were to the middle of his back and the opponent could use them to choke him or, you know, to cause him some type of harm. His dreadlocks were not that long or thick to where he couldn't have tucked it underneath his cap, okay? This is coming from somebody who creates and does dreadlocks for people. So I know a lot about dreadlocks. His dreadlocks were just fine. They were small enough and thin enough to fit neatly under that cap. And if they weren't able to fit neatly under the cap, then so be it, okay? That was embarrassing for them to force that young man to sit there and cut his hair in front of everybody. You know, it's ridiculous. I understand that there's certain rules in wrestling. I understand the hair length has to be a certain length, but his locks were not that long, nor were they that distracting or would have caused him some type of harm on the damn mat, okay? So TMZ is reporting that the referee has been involved in other racial things before. So I'm gonna go ahead and read you guys this article from TMZ. Y'all go ahead and check this out. So TMZ says, a black high school wrestler was told by a white referee that he needed to cut off his dreadlocks or forfeit an important match. And the whole incident was captured on video. Andrew Johnson was about to compete for Bueno Regional High School in New Jersey and was wearing a cover over his dreadlocks when referee Alan Maloney stepped in. Maloney told Johnson that his hair cover was not sufficient and gave him two choices, chop off the locks or lose the match. Johnson reluctantly chose a haircut, but you can see he was visibly upset. Johnson then destroyed his opponent, but he was clearly devastated about the haircut. Even when the ref raises his hand in victory, his teammates try to console him, but Johnson wasn't really having it. Now it's been revealed that the ref has a history of racist behavior, using racial slurs towards black men during a social gathering in 2016 and getting his ass kicked in the process. The offended party, an African-American man, was so pissed that he slammed Maloney into the ground following the slur. Maloney later apologized for the incident and the body that oversees the high school wrestling in New Jersey ordered him to complete sensitivity training classes. We've reached out to officials at the NJSIAA, which oversees high school athletics in New Jersey. So far, no word back.
right, so you guys just heard me read what TMZ had to say. So this man obviously has a history of using the N-word, okay? And, you know, being belittling towards black people. And he's already been reprimanded. He's been documented for this. And maybe because of that incident that happened in 2016 where he got his ass slammed by a black man, that has caused him to have some type of animosity towards these black wrestlers. Like I said, from seeing that video, his dreadlocks were not that bad. You know what I'm saying? And that's just ridiculous and embarrassing what they made him do. Now, on top of this, people started going in on the reporter from New Jersey who initially posted this on social media where he was trying to spin it that, oh, you know, this kid is the epitome of a team player as opposed to holding the damn referee accountable for his bullshit call. So people started dragging Mike. And so now Mike has issued an apology. I'm going to go ahead and read this apology to you guys. Go ahead and check this out. So Mike Franco says, hi, everyone. Thanks for chiming in here today. Here's some additional context. The wrestlers' coaches argued the referee's decision for several minutes until the referee started the injury time clock. At this point, the wrestler removed the cap and agreed to have his hair cut. I understand there are several levels to this story. Serious levels worth a serious discussion. Those discussions should not include threatening me in any way. This is Twitter, so those words will sound hollow, but I am the furthest thing from a racist. I've covered local sports in South Jersey for over a decade, and any local coach and or athlete can certainly attest to my positive and fair coverage. Obviously, it was naive of me to run with the consummate team player angle in my mind. It was just the ultimate selfless move from a high school athlete. I now know I missed the bigger picture, and for that, I apologize. Things can be framed in a number of ways, according to many of you. I missed the correct framing here. I understand that many of you watch this video and feel strong emotions, and I do too. I just like to remind you, I didn't cause the action, I documented the action, and my method of delivery felt short in many ways. Sincerely, Mike. All right, so you guys just heard what the reporter Mike Franco had to say, and I will say this, I do, you know, respect him for taking ownership to what he said and how it made other people feel and the fact that he's taken ownership and admitting that no, that was disturbing and maybe I used the wrong choice of words because that was not him sacrificing for his team. That was not the epitome of him being a team player. That was the referee being an asshole. You know what I'm saying? And I'm glad that he also made mention that the coach fought with the referee and tried to have his teammates back because a lot of people were saying, well, where's the coach? Why didn't the coach do anything? So the coach obviously did and at the end of the day, it was a young man's decision it was a decision that he should have never had to make. It was a decision that he should have never been backed into a fucking corner to make for his team. I think that was just totally unfair. And if I was a parent watching that, I would have been highly upset. I really would have been. And that was not called for at all. It seemed like that referee already had some type of vendetta either against the young man because he was black because, again, he's been caught being racist before. And so the young black man did decide to cut his hair, you know, which is unfortunate, but he wanted that win. And a lot of folks can say, well, I wouldn't have cut it or why did he cut it? We don't know what scholarships he's looking at. We don't know, you know, what schools he might be trying to get into. You know, just all types of things could have been running through his mind as to why he had to do it. I don't blame him for doing that. I blame the referee who put him in the position to have to even make that decision. I think that was just complete and utter bullshit. So at the end of the day, this entire situation is crazy. I'm glad that, you know, the initial man who posted the story, Mike Frankel, like I said, is taking ownership. And this is why a lot of, you know, reporters need to be responsible with how they frame certain things and how they put it out there. Because he wasn't just, you know, neutral and posted something for everybody to make a decision. He inserted that the young man was being a team player when the young man was basically backed into a corner by a racist referee. To a story that's getting tension from all over the country tonight, a referee at a high school wrestling match in New Jersey told a wrestler he had to cut his dreadlocks or forfeit the match. So with the clock ticking, that wrestler, a teenager, chose to let the team trainer cut his hair. But that video is now sparking outrage and questions about that ref's decision. Here's ABC's Lindsay Davis. Discuss tonight over this video now circulating the internet of this moment of humiliation. New Jersey high school wrestler Andrew Johnson having his dreadlocks cut by a trainer before a match. He was forced to have his hair cut by a referee in order to compete or forfeit the match. It's standard for wrestlers with long hair to have the option to cover their heads, but the referee, Alan Maloney, would not allow it. His hair's always been like that, so for them to now bring it up is out of line. 
The Buena Superintendent of Schools releasing this statement today. The referee will no longer be permitted to officiate any contests that include any Buena Regional School District student athletes. Johnson's win propelling his team to victory. But with a split lip and reluctant raise of his hand, he walks off the mat looking as if he'd just been defeated. Demands are growing for Maloney to be fired or punished. Neither Maloney nor Johnson responded to our request for comment. Tom. Lindsay Davis for us tonight. Lindsay, thank you. So this entire situation is just really sad. I'm sure we're going to hear more about this. I'm sure the young man's going to be doing interviews. I'm sure there's going to be more information to come, being that this is viral. So I will keep you guys updated on any information via Instagram. So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire disturbing viral story. All right. Deuces. Hey you guys, it's your girl T and I hope you really enjoyed that video. If you want to know more about my look of the day or if you want a way to contact me concerning advertisement and sponsorship deals, definitely feel free to click my description box. There's plenty of information in there. Please stay tuned for the next video. Talk to y'all later.